Hi, my name is Kayla Minerding, and I am the sixth grade language arts teacher here at Northwood Middle School. I'm going to be walking you through my Power School page. So to start off, this is the welcome page. So all it has is our daily schedule on it, along with just a little bit of information about me. Um, the best way to contact me is through email. And for more information, you can go to that resource tab. I have a parent and family page, a student resources page, um, student feedback page, and a tab for our resource students. So on our parent and family page, again, I have my contact information. The best time if you're going to be calling in would be after school, 2.30 to 3.10. Um, I'm also available in the mornings if you need to call during that time. Um, over here on this right-hand side of my page, I have the help desk phone number along with our front desk phone number here at Northwood. Our middle school website is linked here along with information about computer insurance. I have our daily schedule posted on here along with our two-hour delay schedule. Underneath that, you'll see the grading scale that will be used for sixth grade students. On this page, I have the language arts expectations posted along with our remote learning expectations, specifically for when we have Zoom classes. Underneath that, I try to keep this updated, but because of this year, sometimes this gets changed. So it's here, but also please always check the Fort Wayne Community Schools website for the most recent one. Underneath that, I have a student resource page. So this is more for students if they need help. So if they need help figuring out Google Docs, there are videos there, how to create a Google Slides presentation, how to find Google Forms, how they can organize their Google Drive, how they can find BrainPop and Quill, which are two apps that we use in our language arts class, how they're able to check their email, and how they're able to upload Google assignments to the LMS page. I also have our schedules for our daily, for every day, and for two-hour delay schedules, the grading scale, and that resources and additional information. I also have on this page our calendar along with our classroom and remote learning expectations. Underneath that, I have a Bright Ideas tab. This is a link that's available for students and um, parents, if you guys have suggestions on things for how we could improve our class, make things easier, uh, this has post been posted all year that you can put comments on it. Underneath that, this is specifically for students that work with Mrs. Lampton. There, she has another resource page on there with information that particularly is for them. Underneath that, I have more tabs for our unit that we're going to be working in. So we have our unit number along with the date that it's going to be covered in. The most recent lesson will be right here at the top, and they work their way back down to the beginning of the lesson. So if we looked at the lesson from September 30th. This was a virtual day, but right off the bat, they have the link for the attendance form. It should also be prompted for them right when they log in through their announcements. Underneath that will be the Zoom link and along with that day's schedule. So if we were to look at a typical day rather than an all virtual Wednesday, it will look pretty similar. We have the attendance form along with Zoom meeting information and that day's attend our agenda. So right on the first page is what we have our to-do list, and it kind of summarizes everything that's going to be done that day. On the right-hand side, we also have a video that students can watch that has um, their teacher walking through everything for them. So every day um, on the first page, it will be our connect information. So just general reminders and things they need to keep in mind um, for upcoming dates, things like that. They'll have a task that will start them in on that day's work. So in this example, they'd have to watch a video. 
review some of the examples from it. Then there will be links embedded within this. So once they need to make it or have their own copy of whatever the assignment is for that day, they just simply need to click on the link. Additionally, if there are days in which they need to turn assignments in, that will be posted here on the side. There'll be a link for them to turn assignments in. They can also go to the activities assignments page. And this will list all of their assignments that they will have to turn in. So if we had to turn in our figurative language worksheet and they needed to find the link for it, they can click on the page right there. And it will take them back to that day's agenda that they can go through and ensure that they're following all the directions. The, to turn the assignments in, they'll click that hand in button, attach from Google Drive, and they will click on whatever the assignment is that they need to. They can upload it, hand it in. If you have questions or need um, additional help finding things, a really good resource will be on that student resources page. These are all videos that students can watch, especially um, how to turn in an assignment on the LMS page. That's our PowerSchool page. There's a video that can walk them through that right there. Please let me know if you have any questions or need any help finding things. Again, the best way to get in contact with me is through my email, which is linked right there on the home page, and it is also on both the resources page. Thank you for watching.